You're at a backyard barbecue. Someone hands you a hot dog. You bite in. Smooth, salty, pink. Your friend leans over. You know what's in that? Lips and assholes. But here's something that might surprise you. That's not true. Modern hot dogs don't contain lips or assholes. The USDA banned those decades ago. But what is inside is weirder. And the difference between a $1 hot dog and an $8 one, it's not what you expect. So what's really in a hot dog? Hot dogs are emulsified meat. That smooth texture isn't natural. Real meat has fibers, grain, texture. Hot dogs are engineered to be uniform. When animals are butchered, premium cuts go to steaks and roasts. What's left are trimmings, small pieces of meat attached to bones, fat caps, muscle scraps. Nothing wrong with them, just not pretty enough to sell whole. These trimmings become hot dogs. Premium hot dogs use skeletal muscle meat, the same stuff in your steak, just smaller pieces. Budget hot dogs use mechanically separated meat. Now here's where it gets interesting. Mechanically separated meat, MSM, is made by forcing bones with meat attached through a sieve under high pressure. The meat paste squeezes through. Bones stay behind. What comes out looks like pink soft serve ice cream. The USDA allows MSM in hot dogs, but with rules. If it contains MSM, the label must say so. And it can't be called all beef or all pork. That requires whole muscle only. All beef franks equals trimmings, but actual muscle meat. Chicken franks without all equals probably MSM. The trimmings go into massive grinders, thousands of pounds at once. They add ice or water, up to 10% of final weight, keeps it cool and adds moisture. Then come other ingredients. Salt, about 2%, corn syrup for sweetness, spices, white pepper, garlic powder, paprika. Every company guards their blend. And the most important, sodium nitrite. Sodium nitrite does three things. Kills botulism. Gives hot dogs that pink color. Without it, cooked meat is gray. Creates that hot dog flavor. Can't replicate it any other way. The USDA limits it to 156 parts per million. At that level, most scientists consider it safe, but it's controversial. In high amounts, it forms nitrosamines linked to cancer. All these ingredients go into the grinder. And here's where the magic happens. The mixture is ground repeatedly, three or four times, until meat particles are microscopic. Two to three microns, smaller than a human hair. At this size, Meat proteins break down and release myosin, a sticky protein that acts like glue. The grinding generates heat. That's why they add ice. Keep temperature below 40 degrees. Too warm and fat separates. Greasy, grainy texture instead of smooth. The result is an emulsion. Fat particles suspended in water, held together by meat proteins. Same principle as mayonnaise, except meat. This emulsion gets pumped into casings. Natural casings are sheep intestines, cleaned and salted, thin, edible, and snap when you bite. Premium hot dogs use these. Cheaper hot dogs use cellulose casings, plant fiber tubes. They're removed after cooking. That's why budget hot dogs feel smooth, no snap. The filled casings move to smokehouses. Here's where most people think they get smoked. They don't. Most never see real smoke. Instead, liquid smoke. Flavoring made by condensing wood smoke. Sprayed on or added to meat. Cheaper, faster, more consistent. After smoking, hot dogs cook in hot water or steam. 160 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. This sets the emulsion. Proteins coagulate, firms up. Cellulose casings get peeled off by machine. Natural casings stay on. The whole process, trimmings to packaged, takes about two hours. 
thousands per hour. But here's the kicker. Quality varies wildly based on what goes in. A $1 hot dog uses MSM chicken or turkey, maxes out water at 10%, adds fillers, corn syrup solids, modified food starch, cellulose casings, liquid smoke. An $8 hot dog uses whole muscle beef or pork, minimizes water, no fillers, natural casings. Some get real wood smoking. The ingredient list tells you everything. First, meat source. Beef, pork, or chicken, as first ingredient is good. Mechanically separated turkey, or mechanically separated chicken, first means paste. Second, fillers. Corn syrup is fine. Every hot dog has some. But corn syrup solids, modified food starch, or wheat gluten mean cheap bulk. Third, casing type. Package should say natural casing. If it doesn't mention casings, assume cellulose. Fourth, sodium content. Premium, 400 to 500 milligrams per serving. Budget, 700 to 800 milligrams. More salt equals cheaper meat needing more flavor. Fifth, snap test. Natural casing snaps when you bite. Cellulose feels smooth. The snap equals quality. But wait, what about health? Hot dogs are processed meat. The WHO classifies them as group one carcinogen, same as smoking. But risk is dose dependent. One monthly, minimal, daily? Studies show increased cancer risk. An $8 hot dog isn't necessarily healthier. Better taste, better texture, but still processed meat, high in sodium and fat. Healthier options, turkey dogs, often contain more fillers and MSM. Lower fat, but more salt and additives compensate. So let's go back to that barbecue. That hot dog in your hand. But now you know it's not lips and assholes. You know it's trimmings and MSM ground to 2 to 3 microns, emulsified with ice and salt, pumped into casings, sprayed with liquid smoke, cooked in 160-degree water. You know the smooth texture comes from myosin. You know the pink is sodium nitrite. You know the snap means natural casing. You know $1 uses MSM chicken, maxes water, adds fillers. You know $8 uses whole muscle beef, minimizes water, uses natural casings. The next time you buy hot dogs, you'll read ingredients. You'll look for meat first. You'll check for MSM. You'll look for natural casing. You'll do the snap test. That's the process. We reveal how things actually work, one story at a time. If there's something you'd like us to explore next, let us know. Until then, trust the process.